in, uh, I, I noted the, uh, Minister Chan's reply, but by having all these delays in making the, the decisive, taking the decisive actions, um, for, um, don't you think that this is not in line with the government's stance of zero tolerance to uh, corruption? The moment a minister is investigated, even informally, I think more decisive action should be taken. Prime Minister. Um, uh, Mr. Speaker, I think we should have a sense of reality. In information comes up. A minister is quietly being investigated. Should the CPIB tells me as PM, should I straight away tell the minister, by the way, CPIB is quietly investigating you, please have a care? It's ridiculous. Supposing I say you go on leave of absence, why? What, do I, what reason do I give? He's working. He's being investigated. It's my duty to make sure that while he's working and knowing that there's a cloud, he doesn't make any steps which are going to dig the hole further or cause a problem. And if something like that threatens to come up, I will have to find some way to head it off. Why does CPIB need time to get ready for a formal investigation? Because they must have all the facts and evidence before you enough to start interviewing the, the principal person. Otherwise, if you go in and the principal person turns up and you've announce that you've arrested him and that it turns out that there's nothing in the case. I think you have been derelict in your duty. So you must make sure there's as much, as much as possible that the case is there before you go to the minister. And when do you go to the minister? That depends on CPIB's operational considerations. Who is in town? How do they want to mount this? What else they want to do at the same time? I defer to them on these operational judgments. They know exactly what they're doing. They have a good track record and a formidable reputation. I rely on them. They asked for permission on the 5th of July. I gave it on the 6th. I said the timing is entirely up to you. They said they need a few days. They acted on the 11th. And that's all there is to it. We, the reason this is here at all is because this government decided to act own self, check own self. Otherwise, it wouldn't even be here. At some point, it may have come out, and then it, we would have a bigger problem. But it is, didn't get worse, and we have started this very serious investigation because our system worked, and we picked up that something was wrong. And that is how the system is meant to work, and that depends on the leadership, on the government, on the whole ethos of our society, to frown on corruption, to have no tolerance for somebody who falls short of the standards we expect. And when something needs to be done, painful or not, we do it. No ifs, no buts, it has to be done. It has to be done. Do you think I was pleased when CPIB told me one of my ministers needed to be investigated. I was disappointed, I was saddened, but the director knew, I knew, said, you do your duty, I will back you, and I will enable you to do your duty. And I think that's what we, as this parliament, ought to adopt as our attitude. Rely on them, they will do their job, and in due course, everything will be settled. And I think that's the way we keep Singapore working for a long time to come.